All right, so I'm actually going to show you kind of where to get to the National Estimator app if you want to download it. I actually just put in National Estimator free downloads. And it's that you should see that it says Craftsman, and you'll know you have it. Right there. So I've downloaded two. Most groups are only going to need just the actual national est construction estimator, which is the second one down. If you have landscaping, it would probably be best to have both downloaded. So I went and downloaded heavy construction, national heavy construction. So I have two cost books. I'll kind of show you how that works. If you don't quite see what you see in one cost book, and most of them, everything you find in this cost book, um, this one is better for specialty trees. And I'll kind of show you that in just a second. All right, so if I'm looking at uh, site work, it's paving and, uh, and landscaping. And then you also have equipment and furnishings, which include ovens, dishwashing equipment, refrigerator, any desk, chairs, shelving, and then a ceiling mounted projector. So I'll kind of get you started really quick. I had set one up, but I'm gonna go back in. I'm just gonna go in and see which cost book I have open first, and I'll tell you when it opens up. But you can squit, switch cost books. So I'm actually in the heavy if I want to split the window. I'm going to split it for a minute. And I'm going to do one that has equipment. And we're going to do, and I'm just going to, I might do them all in caps, just to kind of separate them out. Parking, and then I'll do one equipment and furnishings. I'm just kind of leaving a fake a place. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a file save as, and I'm just gonna put it on my desktop just so I know where it is. You can send this just like this to me. You don't have to put it in any type of format but you can put it in just in here for me this is going to be equipment I'm just going to put equipment Okay, so I've got it labeled. All right, so this cost book is the heavy construction. I'm going to go ahead and close out, and I'm going to say File Open. And it, Im it should immediately know that I have two different... Oh, sorry. Open a cost book. So I'm going to go... Constructions where most of you should have everything. I can do that and then just say split window. It's right here. 
It's the one left of the search. All right, but here's the thing. I need the landscaping first. So I'm going to close that cost book and I'm going to open. So the only thing I did difference, the difference between the two, is I downloaded both of these. One the other day and then just hit run and then I downloaded the second one and hit run and it automatically lets you. You could download as many as those on that website that you wanted for free. So um, on the main website you could download all of these for free but there's no sense to do all that, all that looking for just a few items. So I'm going to get you started with red maple, willow oak, and maybe a Buford holly. So red maple is my first one. And under, I'm going to go over here to the search here. And I'm going to type in, they're usually specialty, SP. So I'm going to start putting specialty in. And there's specialty shrubs. And then there's specialty, specialty trees. So I'm going to click there. And it brings me to specialty trees. And red maple is the first one. So what I'm going to do is just copy this information over. Put it right under anything that has trees since that red maple is a tree it'll actually put red maple in there so I'll probably get rid of what I just put in so I'm doing that okay. then I'm gonna pick I'm gonna all I'm doing is double clicking on the red maple right click you can either say copy and then left click and hit paste in the current estimate wants to know how many and I think I had four, but I'm just going to, don't count me on it because I have to flip over to my sheet real quick. I, I had it in here. Red maples, four. Okay, so then it actually put a little more information in there. It already had it in, so it did have all that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that out. All right, next one looks like willow oak. And I'm looking over here on the right side. Weeping willow. Willow oak. So right there it is. Copy. Right click. Paste. Five. Okay. So once you get through with that you'll put you just kind of find you know what best matches um the site work so there's actually some leland cypress crepe myrtles buford holly japanese holly indian hawthorn and seasonal color just pick the best you can um some of, like here's specialty shrubs. I'm under trees right now. If you'll look, there's specialty trees. Um, and if, you, if it just says seasonal color, then just pick something that best suits it. So as you see, it says I should be on page um, shrubs was 272. And you can see I'm on page 272 right here under the specialty trees. So it kind of lets you pull around. I'm going to look and see if there's anything in um, asphalt in the heavy construction.
Okay, so here's some paving. I found paving in the other one that was easier, I think, that I'm going to use. Road base, grade and subcontract, and... Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this cost book. Now, um, since I've already got this saved, I don't have to do anything else. I'm going to close that. And I'm going to do File, Open. And I'm going to go to the regular construction. I'm going to split screen again, which is um, right here. And I am looking under, so I'm going to hit the little search. I'm ready to go back to asphalt. So here is, looks like it's got everything here. So here's what I need. These are all in square yards, so let me copy everything. Oh, crap. Parking lot, so there it is. So I'm going to copy from here down to here. Now we had a price in four years, so I'm going to copy and paste. Okay, so your actual fine grading, um, I think the square footage was on page five is your G5 and it was 17,285. So I'm going to divide that by nine to put it in square yards. So that's like 19, roughly 1920.55. So I'm going to say roughly 1921. Okay. And then it's going to want to, uh, this is talking about your um, asphalt base, 1921. This is your binder course. Uh, inner layer 1921 and the wear course and a protective and parking cost per I could have done it by cost, cost let me see what comes up so actually I could have tried to put it in all at one included everything, the very back one. Very expensive. Let's do, if I think something's very expensive, I can go to current Getting a, just seeing if I can find a base cost. So if I do four fifty times our, we have it by square foot. That's roughly seventy-seven thousand. So I could go with what we have, or if I wanted to change a line item, I could. So I could say, change a cost item, and I could charge. 
here change my equipment looks like the actually materials the most expensive labor and equipment's pretty much the same I'm gonna I'm gonna change it down to like 30 and see if what if that impacts it a little bit and it does but you're still gonna be roughly around 80,000 so if you just bring in the first one that would be fine I'm just looking just to see if you can match something the best you can all right then last thing to look for so that would be should include everything I might would maybe go up and um, get this information we could do it either way we could have done it like this and then we would include this and that's using 1921 and that's just the fine grading and then we would do do the rest of these and we'll see what we get for 1921 1921 1921 1921 okay so all of those together would have roughly been the 92 so I had to put all of that in there so that's 9800 17, 5, and just some rough ideas. 33,000. 31,000. 3,100, excuse me. 35,000. So that's more of that 107. So there's two different ways you could have put that in. You could have labeled them individually, like the, the I just did, or you could just do them. Um, which is a lump sum and that would be what you would have right there and then I adjusted this a little instead of 107 all right so I'm going to leave a spot and last thing we're going to do equipment furnishings I am going to stay in the um, national construction estimator one dot the heavy construction I'm going to look for chairs. I'm just looking for some chairs. I'm going to do some I'm going to do some theater type seating for the ones that are in for the council chamber are just those basic chairs that they have in there. Um, looks like they had like about 16 and 4, 20, 40, 44 in that room from the counselor's chamber tables back. So I'm going to copy, paste, and I'm going to put 44. So, I mean, if you find something else um, under seating, okay, I'm going to kind of find some desk. I think the desk. Under the bank equipment. This is kind of set up like a bank equipment. It's got a teller, window, and all that. So I'm going to look and see if I see. Here's some four person, some rectangle, and round. So I'm probably going to go ahead and for the, ma the manager and the mayor, I'm going to do a rectangle dust for them. So I'm going to do copy and 
22. I need um there's a like a conference table, so I'm gonna use this eight person one. Copy paste just one. Um, there is a little desk in the break room. So I'm going to go with that round because it doesn't give you any dimensions. Copy. Paste. So I kind of see where you're at. And then you would do the same thing for oven, refrigerator, shelving. Just type in shelving and just see what you can find. So either way, you can hit index or search and then look and, you know, kind of look what you're, you know, kind of see if you can find what you are looking for. Here's some shelves. So there are some shelves, but looks like I might would go with a library or um, storage shelving. There's some shelving. If so, just kind of go to and say turn to page, and it'll let you look at the shelving. So there's some type of shelving, um, and just pick something that kind of matches with what you see in your. Estimate. Last thing I want to look real quick is that um, it was that entertainment system. Which is like a video projector. So I found a, it's a projector screen and camera. So let's do a video system. Oh, there it is. So it includes um, pre-wiring, high definition um, camera, it's got amplifier, portable store, um, filter power supply, portable stage monitor, fixed and acoustic um, speaker system, So it looks like all of this might be in. Let's see what else. We did one and it was about 5,000. See what if I put it in? I'm just going through one and seeing what 
it's given me. So it defaulted to all of this. I'm just taking out the bank for the check desk. You don't have to, but I'm just taking out that it's a bank and just saying that it's um, seating. And then I put in the two rectangle desk and a round desk. Um, and then here's my entertainment system. This looks like my entertainment system's around. That's probably right about 10,000. So I haven't got everything in there. All I've got is a couple of trees. I do have your asphalt in there. And then just a couple of, of your equipment furnishings. So your thing is go back, get land, all the landscaping, parking you should be done with, seating, um, try to find anything that matches comparable to what you have. Um, if you just pick something close to it, copy paste. Don't spend a lot of time looking for it. So the only other things I think you would need are, you know, certain desk chairs, um, the council's table. I think at one time I found an octagon. I think it was in a library, um, under library. So if you don't find it in the national estimator, look at the heavy construction. Um, refrigerator, dishwasher, um, you do not have to be sink that will go with plumbing so refrigerator dishwasher stove cabinets any type of cabinets let me see what we, most of those cabinets I found in there Just pick something close. It's not going to be a classroom. It's going to be more like So I was just pulling like some cabinets up. I'm in National Estimator. So just kind of go through. Um, looks like countertops. Here's cabinets. So any anything you want to look at um, under this cabinet area, just pick something and change. And that's per linear feet. So if there is base cabinets, you can just do it by linear foot. Um, you could use there's some type of shelving I'd be fine with that for ones that I think that were in maybe the reception area there might or there's a shell yeah there was some shelving in the reception area you just kind of get something close these are all for linear foot so you just need the length most of them have like height and width just pick something that's close to matching with it and so that's about all of their choices for cabinets in this one. I'm going to save my estimate. And I'm going to close that cost book and see if the other one has anything in it before I exit out. Page three, so I'm on three forty nine.
This is all interior paint. Wall cabinets. So here's some wall cabinets. So if either either one you want to pull wall cabinets out of, I'm not peculiar. These are 36 inches wide, 13 deep. Let's see what else we have. That's about all you have for your cabinets in either one. So just pick one that matches. All right, so that gets you a good start. Um, if you have you've got something you're looking for and you need me to get you a cost for it, just send me. I can actually, if you have National Estimator, I can send it to you or I may be able to export it as a, as a Excel. All right, happy punching.